was that I was not really consulted on what was going on within the investigation. I was not consulted about, um, you know, when findings would come out. And like I said, I only found, got a copy of the report um, an hour prior to the report being released to the public. And I find this to be intentional um, because the school board knows very well that I will not be silenced on this issue and that there are community members and students who are working tirelessly to make sure that they are held accountable. So I think that obviously there was not a lot of transparency and accountability on their end, which was 100% predictable and that's why we made those demands initially. Um, but I think that it's also about acknowledging the fact that like this is not something that the investigator themselves could have controlled but it's also the fact that the school board has complete control over everything that happens with the report and even though they weren't transparent with myself and with Hamilton Students for Justice and the community throughout they also were not transparent with the public and that was even seen yesterday when they did not even release the names and they released a redacted version of the report so time and time again they have lacked transparency and they have failed to hold themselves accountable.